photo's been added into evidence just in case it gets questioned um Murphy's response kind of bothered me. What was he saying? He just believes that we let an innocent person get found guilty. And we, I, I tried to explain to him that per the courts, none of us are proud. But we had no evidence to prove otherwise. And it was up to the courts to decide. And per the DOJ's verdict, they found you guilty. I think our case was strong. I think based on the tools that we had and based on uh, what we had in our ability, we were able to come to a conclusion on Murphy Braun being found guilty. I think you did a spectacular job fighting the case. You did phenomenal. I think this deserved its day in court. Uh, there's a part of me that hopes Mr. Braun attempts to appeal it simply based on the fact that police were working in, in very impartial capacity. I could see I could see this charge being overruled at a later time. Um, I think it, it's worthy of a day in court. Yeah, I listen, I tried this case to the best of my ability. I, I must admit, I am a little... Uh, at a little bit of a loss for words, I must say, I, I'm going to be honest. I was fully expecting the judge to find one of the arguments they raised to be a reasonable doubt to like for the kidnapping call, for the, the calls that you received on the scene for him being shot, all of that in combined. I, I was fully expecting him to consider all that a reasonable doubt. I must admit, I am quite surprised at the verdict. I, I think this once again proves how consistently wrong I am. And predicting verdicts the doj has an interesting way of uh proposing and pushing uh, i personally don't know how to feel about the whole thing uh am i surprised in the verdict no uh am i surprised in the response from the verdict yes not really what, what do you i mean? am I, by the response from Mr. Braun, uh, and for him to... Of course he was going to be upset. Yeah, I mean, I expected him to be, but for, for, him, for him to assume that this is all because it's on us for not doing our job, knowing that we did everything in our capacity, everything in our capacity to gather facts and evidence, and we could not, based on what we had had no choice but for him to prove his innocence in court and only I then mean, did the doj yeah. have an opportunity to hear his case out and prove his innocence bailey said you know the burden was on the defense and they yeah they were unable to provide doubt they uh they fumbled it they did i'm still not there are a lot of avenues for them to argue no doubt there 100 percent I'm actually, I'm dumbfounded the medical report never even got brought up, if I'm being honest. That was such a big part of that, I, that report. I'm actually quite surprised as well. I really thought they were going to make a huge deal that he was shot in his head. That's what I said. That's what I said. I, I couldn't believe that they didn't bring that up. They could have, they could have argued that he was, he was executed. Uh, they didn't do that. Yeah, I... You know, I was actually talking with one of the lawyers, and he, he brought up two concerning things. Well, I guess one concerning thing and one relevant thing here. He, he was talking about how – it was Birch, by the way. They were talking about how they just had a lot of lawyers and not one grand strategy or one lead counsel to really take charge and, and set a strategy. So I think that, that might have hurt him a little bit and just coming up with a, a coherent strategy and, and points to argue. Yeah, um, that's what I thought. They just kind of jumped around, but they didn't have like a clear, uh, a clear foundation. They for kept their trying defense. to, yeah. They, they they kept trying to build the foundation, and then they just let the foundation sit, and they moved on to a new one. I, I was very confused. They like tried to, it, it was like, they they had the frame of a building, but they never actually put the walls on the building, I, and then they moved on. I thought they were gonna grill me. I was fully expected 
like expecting just to be like ripped apart up there because I was so heavily focused on the kidnapping and I assumed that that's what they would focus on too. And they didn't ask me anything. Yeah, no, they, they, they didn't. And to, to, to be honest, um, I, I think the big underlying factor is that they did not want that evidence out of the report, and I really don't feel like they tried pressing it, which I don't understand why. I, wa I wanted to hear, like, an actual coherent case. But it, it, it kind of hurts to, to hear that I, I, I don't... I it was just to serve. Yes, of course it was. DOJ did its job. I, I think if the lawyers had a more stable foundation to work off of, I think it would have been better. But the, the half building off of things to walk away from it, I, I feel like every time they made ground, they started over. Yeah, I don't think you're fully wrong. Chad, if Braun is uh, live, yeah. can you guys go show love to him, please? I think there is an intention on their part to appeal. Uh, I am happy to act as appellate counsel, should it come to that. Um, so yeah, I guess, I guess we'll wait and see if they file. I truly hope they do. Yeah, I, I kind of, I hope they do. And I hope they come back with a, uh, a, a more solid, um, foundation for their defense. But the appeal, um... I wonder. I wonder what the what their grounds for the appeal would be. I I'm not. I am curious. Maybe I think I'd have money that they're they're going to claim that um, Bailey erroneously shifted the the burden onto them and the defendant. And that, I mean, he did state that he did. He did state, you know. It's the de it was the defense's burden to to prove his innocence. Didn't he say that? Yeah, I think he did. I think that they're gonna they're gonna claim that they didn't raise any official affirmative defense, and therefore, him just saying that, alluding to the fact that like the burden would shift to them. I, I I'm just saying I think they're probably gonna bring that up. Other than that, I I don't know. I'd be interested to see. Yeah, I'll be ready for it. What you worry? Also, uh, I was talking with Birch during the deliberations, mm -hmm. and I don't know if he was just talking in a hypothetical or if he had actual information. But during deliberations, he brought up to me that I, I could very well be the the next person to be kidnapped and in frame shall we say that, that's basically how it put it to me he, he basically alluded to the fact that uh, would you like me to do i mean you need, to, you need to make a report i'm gonna oh. make yeah I'm, I'm gonna make a report about this again i don't we, know if he uh, was just saying oh I what if to, this happened let's you, call but... sebastian I, I i i think that a statement could be made for this i i don't i don't like that and i don't want that to be the case for you I'm going to ask him to come down. Hey, uh, would you mind coming down to MRPD? Uh, make it a quick statement for me. Uh, Oliver, what's your full name? Oliver Hall. Uh, it shouldn't take more than like five or ten minutes. Just let me know when you get here. Um... Okay, I appreciate it. And I, I can give you a ride somewhere afterwards if you need it. Uh, Oliver, I'm gonna just formulate this okay, thank you. as Bye. a. Uh, right. I'm... Uh, he's on the way. Okay. Well, he'll be here shortly. Yeah, again, I don't know if his statement was that of an intent, like he had knowledge. I was gonna. Not for all this, but uh, 
I don't know. It was a little bit worrisome. I, I certainly hope it was more of a, a hypothetical. Let's just, what if let's this just get to it. You, let's get it documented. Um, What's your call sign, uh, Kit? 117. I knew that. Um, Oliver, you okay? I swap, you know, they're, they're, I hate to say it, but there's, I guess, a chance that any of us could have, could be, uh, in this boat right now. Oh, yeah, definitely. I, uh, I, it would not surprise me. Um, I'm actually going to do this real quick, too. Okay. I'm going to be honest. I think if this happens again... I think the best bet is to not proceed with the case unless you're 100% confident the person that was in possession of the gun actually shot it and, and all that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, the, the but point... it wasn't really about shooting. It was about the possession. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, like a similar situation as Alan said. The issue that we run into is if we were to state that because we can't prove if a if a bullet was fired out of a gun, we'd have to take every PD issued firearm at that point that's found on the streets. And I don't think that that's a coherent case. So in this instance, I, I think I think where we're at right now. Uh I don't know how I, I don't want to sound weird when I say this, but um until we're able to have uh some foundational uh equipment that would allow us to uh investigate further into the capacity of, of a firearm uh i think it's it's going to be argued in court until that day if a gun's been fired or not we can articulate that it most likely was that gun based on the facts and evidence we have but we can't actually prove that without having something further to investigate i.e a casing further you know evaluation of the firing pin it's a shitty situation but on the same flip yeah. of the token um based on how we operate just yesterday alone we had multiple pd firearms stolen oh wow if we were to just drop this case entirely that would not only be a president a, a, a precedent set from the pd but that would be a horrible precedent set moving forward. Internally and externally. So wh while this is honestly terrible to some degree, uh, based on how far we can evaluate the gun, I think we pursued in good faith based on what we had. Yeah, of course. That's not really what I'm saying. I'm just saying uh, if there is an uptick of, uh, of similar situations where judges or... I don't know, us, whoever's involved in this case, I guess, if we get kidnapped and guns planted on us, if that's actually what happened, of course, and that does happen, I'm just saying, uh, I would hope for just confidence in the evidence is all I'm saying. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Trial was what? Uh, we'll say it was seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Would we say like four hours? Do we think that's fair? Four hours ish. The case? Yeah. It's more like five at this point. Is it? Well, I guess actually the case up until now it's been almost like five. The case was scheduled for uh, seven, seven Eastern. Um, um, 
Uh... Okay, so Oliver, just kind of give me a brief rundown. Beginning of trial to end, just sort of give me your statement as to sort of how you felt, what was going on. No one's in any trouble right now, but if God forbid something happens to you, Oliver, I'd like this to be on record. Um, so that we know what's 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 going on. No, certainly. Uh what I can say is during the course of the trial, um I would say that the only main thing of note was a repeated attempt to antagonize me by Mr. El Rahman. Um, he, he was constantly making loud noises in earshot while I was uh, examining witnesses and um, even presenting opening and closing arguments. At several points, he would say what? things like, fuck you, Oliver. He would... Uh, I can't even recall specific things he would say, but he, he would say things um, to uh, aggrieve or intimidate me while I was trying to, to do my job. Uh, that was the main thing. Is that sort of what you're looking for? Uh, yeah, for the most part. Uh, you mean one minute? One minute. Um... Yeah. W w was there anything else that you feel like could be uh, just notated as a concern that you had? Yeah, absolutely. So during deliberations, I was speaking with Sebastian Birch, defense counsel for Mr. Mr. Braun. Um, now, that conversation, it was quite normal. We were just discussing the case and he was bringing up flaws that he saw um, with the case and he was basically advising me, uh, in essence, if I was to take further cases as a prosecutor, to basically screen them uh, and discern whether or not there was sufficient evidence was his recommendation. And then at one point in the conversation, one thing of a special note. Give me one minute. I'm was just catching that he up. He said something. No, I, of course. I'm just catching up. Give me a second. Uh. Um, okay, uh, let's, let's go, let's, let's actually go in here. Okay. Okay. Um. Cozy. So, so really quickly, uh, uh I'm not going to put this on, on. Give me a second. Recording or anything. I'm just going to write. Okay. I don't know if the door was closed. Um. Okay, so one interesting piece of information uh, was that, and then I, I, I cut you off. I'm sorry. No, certainly. Yeah, so I was talking with uh, Mr. Birch. At one point in the conversation, he mentioned either as a hypothetical or something alluding to the effect that he may have personal knowledge of... Uh, he basically said something to the effect of... Uh, you certainly should be careful because imagine if this were to happen to you and you were, uh, and he had already explained his view as to what actually happened, but he basically went on to explain, imagine if you were kidnapped and they forced you to shoot a gun and then planted it on you and shot you. Um, what would happen if you were, were charged, convicted and, and lost your job? Basically. Say that last sentence again. Imagine if they kidnapped you and forced you what? Yeah, imagine if they kidnapped you, uh, then... Sorry, I'm so tired. I'm losing my train of thought. Uh, imagine if they kidnapped you, uh, forced you to shoot a gun, planted the gun on you, and then you were charged, convicted, and lost your job. Uh... It was something to that effect. I'm really paraphrasing, I'd say. Yeah, it's, uh, you're not wrong. It's, it's scary. 
it's it's pretty crazy. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Awesome. Uh, uh, I think. Uh, sorry. I think we're good. Okay. Um. I did. I did ask uh, Sebastian about that. It was just like a, a devil's advocate statement you know wasn't based on something he'd overheard or anything so that's that's fine that's a relief honestly but you know as long as that's stated i just i I'm, i want to keep a record because i don't i mean even even braun at the end there was even stating that you know he's like oh i hope you don't hope you wake up tomorrow with a glock and you know just comments to that degree uh i i want to make sure that that stuff is notated It makes sense. No one's in any trouble. Just God forbid if something did happen now moving forward, we have a record of it. Yep. So. Yeah, I, I would do the same thing probably. Mm. How uh, how was Murphy when you processed him? He was, uh, put simply, not happy. Um, Murphy essentially shifted blame to state that you know, it was negligence on our part. And I, I tried to make clear to him that whether he saw it in the view that we saw it or not, uh, it is prudent that the DOJ follows through with, with the case based on the facts and evidence that we had. And I, I, I'm going to be honest with you off the record. Uh, I would I would love to see an appeal process happen. Um, I, I, I'm not... That is simply up to, to you guys at the end of the day. <laughs> but but I, I, if Murphy does feel wronged in that to that degree, that is something that is on the table that he could absolutely pursue. You know what I'm saying? That that is that is at his at his hands if he wanted it. Do you want to see the appeal because it's good for Murphy or because you you think it's No, uh, I, I just Murphy was so quick you think it should go through. Neither. I All I stated to Murphy was that, you know, you have the ability to argue this if you wanted to. Because his statement of claim is that we, we just did our thing and this is all on us. Which I understand. Hot-headed a little bit after case. I, I respect that. I understand it. I wasn't expecting him to be happy about the outcome. <laughs> you know what I mean? Same. But yeah. I, 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 I reminded him that he still has options. Uh, not even that I want him to make an option or the option, just that he has options. Because he told me that he was on his way to, to the airport and he's just never coming back. Was essentially yeah. what he, he just told me. He's, uh, like, it's not the first time he's reacted like this, but this one's pretty this one's pretty tough for him. Yeah. So I, I just I just want to clarify. I'm sorry if, if, if that came back uh, in the wrong way. I just, I tried to let him know that this is not the end all be all if he doesn't want it to be. I, I think it's worth appealing outside of like the merits of the case. Like mm. I'm worried about the precedent that it sets. Like said, uh, I, I would, it would not surprise me if, the, if this was appealed. I know that he was pretty hot headed about the outcome from the opposing side. It, it makes it very difficult for us. Uh, because we did have facts and evidence and we, 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 we pursued what we had and yeah, it, it's still, it sucks, but we tried. I, I I'm telling you when I tell you, we, we, we took almost the entire form factor of the statute to prove innocence. And we just kept hit, we hit a dead end at every point. Uh, I mean, the problem, the way I see it, the problem with something like this is you literally can't prove your innocence unless you got lucky and there was some bystander like there's literally no way to prove against it and that's fair that's that's absolutely fair it would be immoral of me based on our own judgment off of what we had though to throw the case out if that makes sense so i i, I agree with you i mean yes at the end of the day you had someone with a gun on them right mm -hmm. like th there's it's very clear that you can't like dispute that piece of it. 
but the circumstances around it, like the way I see it means you can basically like set anyone up and sometimes it's going to be real, right? Like you go out to the desert, whatever, you go try and rob somebody, you get shot, you get picked up by the cops, you have a gun on you. Like it can definitely be real, but like, what are the chances that Murphy was doing that? Uh, and what are the chances that like someone could not set up that exact same scene very easily in the future? Can that seem? And there, there's no way to defend against it. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll answer that based on what we had. I mean, we had every reason to understand that the, the burden of defense or of proof fell on the defense for that. The other side of that, though, that I think is 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 the harder argument is I technically speaking, you're right. Anyone can do anything at that point, and if people wanted to do that, they absolutely could. We did try and prove innocence, and because we couldn't find anything, it makes it difficult for us to come to the conclusion of saying that we have evidence beyond a reasonable doubt that this case should not be be pressed or move, you know moved along, essentially. Yeah, it, it, it's it's a shitty one overall. I'll admit it, it, it's the same. It comes back to like the old hot gun laws, basically. Mm. Like you have the gun, and that's that's basically it. Yeah, unless you have a real, unless you have a real case in your own affirmative defense that, you know, someone planted it on you or whatever happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know it's hard to, this case was probably hard too with like uh, the difficulties in collecting evidence or whatever the scene actually looked like. Um, so that may have made it harder too. Like there weren't like, it's not like there's bullets everywhere or that, I don't know. It, it was like hard to disprove it from that side too. I 100% agree with you on that. I, uh, you know, I, I didn't want to believe that, that Murphy did this. And I, I spent so much time trying to prove his innocence, um, like chasing every possible lead that I could. And I mean, it just it wasn't there you know like like all of the witnesses to that that kidnapping um you know we even did a lineup the person who called in the kidnapping and he couldn't identify murphy he said nothing looked familiar yeah i mean we really did do our i think do our best to try to see if we could find a connection to Murphy in that kidnapping and we were just unable to do so. Uh, I think it's, it's clear from the case that you guys did your due diligence and probably beyond like what happens in most cases. I appreciate that. The fact that you ended up finding Delver and bringing him in, whether or not like whatever the outcome of it was showed that like you obviously put the time in. Mm-hmm. I'll be honest, uh, I, I don't know what happened with the whole uh, statement about the recording. I, I will admit to you, though, it, it was a little sour taste. I don't believe that it was directly you. I, I want to make that clear. But to, to question I had nothing that, to do with it. Yeah. To, that, was, that was pretty tough. Not going to lie. I'm going to be honest. Like, they came back, and I, I told them multiple times, I'm like, give it up. Like, you haven't found the timestamp. Just give it up. Yeah. Then they came back and they're like, whatever, mistrial or whatever they call for it. Yeah, uh, that, I, I figured they were pulling at straws on that, but regardless of them pulling at straws, I again, I don't think that it was you. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying it was all you. I'm not saying it was none of you. I believe you. Uh, but from our side, it, it really puts a sour taste and a, and a distrust for someone to assume that we were going to try and hinder discovery in that way. The recording was there. And it, it, it kind of, it gave me a sour taste on, on, on how to feel, uh, and definitely set a bad judgment from my side as to, I think the way yeah. that that was pushed. I mean, I know, I know that's not on you, but if you ever happen to, if that ever comes up, I mean, that, that's the, oh, the way I would I, have approached it in a very different manner. Hmm. Just like given like how I think careful everybody is, you know, with recordings and everything and why we do recordings and like anything that's stated after the recording is off like that is that is off the record that is not admissible you know in in my opinion and 
it's uh, just I agree. In in one ear, out the other, uh, as far as I'm concerned. And like there there was there was just uh, I don't know. There there was just uh, when you there just nothing was altered. There there uh, it it just blows Yeah, my I don't mind. know like I don't know what they were seeing. Obviously, like I, I wasn't there in the interrogation, so I had literally zero context on it. Like they were like, "Where's the timestamp?" And I was like, "I don't have anything in my notes about that date." That's all I can tell you. Um, it's just because it wasn't. I mean, I, I will say, Cornwood was asking Siobhan and Braun a bunch of personal questions, and I kind of zoned out during all that. I um, skipped through a lot of it, even though I was interested. Because it's funny, and I'm yeah deep in the middle of that and relationship. He was asking about so like I, I'm not saying it wasn't brought up, but like there was just I personally have no memory of that date specifically being brought up. Like any dates other than the date of the incident, um, I have no memory of that because I feel like that would stand out if somebody specifically mentions a date, right? Yeah, um, it, it came back to the it comes back to the gun right the date comes back well, to the see, gun here's so the it thing, would have been together that i would assume at that at that time we didn't know who owned that gun whose gun that was so there would be literally no reason for us to even bring up that date regarding like the yeah. investigation because that date didn't mean anything to the investigation at that time so if that date was brought up in some way it had nothing to do with the investigation. That's exactly what I thought while it was happening. I was like, "There's, if if this is on any tape, it's on your recording, um, the second interrogation, because the gun, like, I don't think the gun was ever brought up at all in the, the first it wasn't. interrogation. It was never brought up in the first interrogation. That was purposeful. We did yeah. not bring it up. And then... The second interrogation is when we brought him in to actually ask him about the gun. But I think all we we asked was, where'd you get the gun? Why'd you have it on you? And he was like, I don't know. And that was kind of it. I think it was really quick. Yeah, and then, it was and then And then we just talked about, you know, getting the uh, phone records, which came back inconclusive. Yeah, I... I... Hmm. It goes both ways. I think the phone records should have been provided back to defense counsel directly. Um, we didn't get any phone records. It was oh, it literally came back uh, zero, no calls. They, they came back. But we didn't get anything. We we didn't have there. There wasn't anything to give you. Um, it, it was stated as inconclusive. Uh, that makes sense. Yeah. It. I, I promise. On every I front, was curious, we tried. I was, yeah, I mean, I assumed that it would come back, that if something had come back, you would have given it. Oh, no. Yeah, John. no, we absolutely <gasps> no. We would have put it. And Damn, I, 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 I wanted to talk to... Uh, uh, in the report I wanted to talk that it to, just it came back as inconclusive, um, I think I just forgot. Um, but any, no, there was nothing to give. Like, literally, uh, Judge Adams uh, called me and sent me an email as well, just confirming that the the phone record provider... Uh, was unable to provide any data. Interesting. Yeah, that, that makes sense. I mean, at the end of the day, like you had Luisa's testimony that he talked to Murphy anyway. So, like, the farm workers don't add that much to it, unless you don't believe Luis at all. Um, I mean. It, it would cl it would clarify what uh, happened if there were phone records. So one thing that like I'm surprised you guys didn't follow up on is the fact that I make a statement saying that you know Luis was going. Uh, Luis's statement is that he was going to meet Braun and everything, and then in his interrogation, he says he can't remember anything. I see. I I saw that also. I was thinking it helped us, right? Because it proves that he was at the courthouse, or that there was something that was going to happen, and it like lends more credence to there being a possible kidnapping because he didn't show up for this meeting. And at the same time, Luis saw a kidnapping, 
when they were supposed to meet. I mean, that's um, that's why but, I pushed so hard on the interrogations was that initial questioning with Luis because I I thought well the the timing of everything and the fact who's going to meet Braun. Um, there could be something here. And that's that's when we went down like the rabbit hole. Yeah. I, if like, I'm assuming, I don't know. You're right. I didn't really think about that. That would have been a good thing to throw doubt or like another cog in the wheel that like maybe there was some other forces at work other than Luis just misremembering. Um. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't really think about that. Luis was the only thing that placed Murphy, that like had any information on Murphy after the party, really after yeah. the court case. He he was literally if if Luis hadn't sent in that nine one one, um, we would have. It was Luis. Luis did it. This was all Luis. No, I, uh, I, I think without that 911, uh, the case for innocence probably wouldn't have gone as extensive as it did. Oh, it would have been much, like, much harder to make the case. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> and it was already hard to make the case. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was definitely, I mean, I, I, I like said, what happened happened. Um, he got time served. He got half the fine. Uh, I, I really hope he doesn't walk straight to LSIA to board a plane, though. Um, I hope so, too. Or I hope that he takes a little vacation and, uh, you know, is ready to come back. I don't know that his bar license is actually going to get taken. Yeah, I don't I know what to actually have to real bar hearing. I, I don't I don't know what the real criteria is for losing your license. I don't know either, and I don't think that that's something that I can I mean, necessarily rip. I think that's from the judges. I, I I could be dead wrong about that, but I'm not sure. Uh, it's a judge or bar association. I don't know what it looks like right now. Um, decision. Yeah, I was actually. Um, I think Mr. Mullen is planning for it to be like if a complaint is filed, then a hearing's held in which any attorney and judge that attends, I guess, can be selected to give their opinion on it, if that makes sense. And then, I guess, him, the Chief Justice, and then uh, the people involved, like, contribute to make a decision. Oh, I would kill for open bar hearings. It sounds like a good idea, except for, like, you know, having potentially too many people speak and all that, you know? Uh, I just want to know what happens. Dude, the old the old bar hearings were so prejudicial against the lawyers. Like you didn't even know what the complaint was against you until you walked into the room. Yeah, that's pretty wild. I feel like transparency is would... full notice. And... Yeah. But you know, it's not a he didn't shoot anyone. Well, I mean, you can't prove either way that he shot anyone. Yeah. Um. So, like, basically, all he did was. Layla, thank you for the tier two I mean, for three months. I, guess, but... I appreciate you. I don't know. It I'd wasn't. Be, I'll be interested to see if a bar hearing actually happens. On paper, it wasn't technically a violent felony. Now, I, I, yeah. I, I will agree with you wholeheartedly because I was actually on your guys' side for this. I did challenge Bailey on the idea of DNA swab. Uh, but I, per his request, followed through and just made a very clear note. That that was on on uh, on Bailey's request. Yeah, I, yeah, that's an interesting ruling. I don't know that is is there actually a a standard in place right now for like, DNA I don't swabs? know if that carried over from before. So, I have, I in, have not looked through all the legislation. You're you're good. In legislation, it states Article. Oh my God, I don't know how to count these. Hold Isn't on. It like Article Eight of the Constitution. Article... It says something about it having to be a violent felony. Okay. For the seven. So a, seven. Okay. Yeah, but it's enshrined already. That yeah. makes sense. Law enforcement may collect DNA from individuals arrested for violent felony crimes without a warrant. And the point that I made, the point that I made to, um, that I made to, oh, it'll come to me. Uh, Miss Sanders. Really? Oh, Sam. no, no. To to Sanders was. 
Uh, what was that? What I don't like about that is that that would also entail that if you are caught joyriding a misdemeanor for seven months, I should be swabbing you for DNA. Personally, I just don't yeah. agree with that. But mm, maybe um. Maybe we we speak to the captains and I'm gonna let them know about it. And... Yeah, no, I I'm already gonna let them know about we, that. We can always remove it if we, you know. Yeah, I mean it was judge's ruling, so I'm I'm gonna let it stick. But I'm gonna inform Slacks just to say, hey, this did happen. This was per the request. It was challenged, uh, by by both parties, and this is what was settled on. If there's any questions or concerns, please take it where you need to go, and we'll 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 go from there. But yeah, I do have one question for you, actually. Yeah, what's up? Thinking back through this, why uh, no like uh, I don't remember what the charge is, but why no charge for discharging his firearm? It was criminal and uh, criminal negligence. negligence. Yeah, or, criminal use. Yeah, yeah criminal use. use, negligent use, some whatever. Yeah, like so, he. I'll be if honest. He thought he shot a gun. Why didn't you charge him for it? The 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 thing is that. He's GSR positive. We have reason to believe he shot a gun. Because we don't have a casing, it kind of makes it difficult to prove that that gun was the one that was fired. It, it's, it, it's a weird, sticky one that we went back and forth about for multiple days. That's we, fair. We, we can prove something was shot. We just can't prove it came directly from that gun without a casing. Yeah. So we, we, we didn't even pursue it because I, honestly, I think most of us were in agreement after discussing how the charge is written. That would have been thrown out. So. But. I don't know. Um, I have to assist with. Yeah, we got to go to the prison. I'm probably yeah, going to go 42. I just need to have a word with somebody and then. Uh -oh. um, yeah, I'm going 42. I can let you both out if you'd like. Any other questions or concerns up 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 to this point? I'm good. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. I said I was gonna give you a ride. But oh I, yeah. I, I think do you, I can give you a ride real quick. Uh, where do you need to go? Uh, we can go back to the to the courthouse. Yeah, I can take you there. Hey, do you mind need if a, I tag along? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll take them both. Perfect. Right. Awesome. I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be going 42. Thank you to both of you. To all of you, actually, realistically. Um, I'm sure we'll be speaking soon. Okay. Sounds good. All awesome. Right. Have a good night, officer. You, guys. you as well, Oliver. Thank you. I'm calling it early today. I feel like after that, I just, I, I kind of want to, I don't want to chill. I've done almost six hours today. Uh, we could take it out of the extensive follower only mode at this point. Um, this was, uh, this was a lot. I know there's going to be differing opinions. I make the point again, wholeheartedly that I only hope and only ask that everybody enjoyed themselves for the trial. We worked with the best we had based on the stipulations we had in role play. Um, and I, I just, I, I wanted it to be fun for everybody. I know that the problem with trials in general is that when people have a differing opinion and very, very uh, opposite opinions, example, defense and prosecution see a case in two different ways, you're going to get very strong suited, very opinionated people uh, hopping, which is why I put follower mode on. I didn't want to deal with it. Uh, I just wanted this to be a nice court case to kind of flow through. I'm sure there's going to be stuff to be brought up after. I'm sure the appeal process would be good. Uh, I got nothing but love for everybody over who, who helped out the defense side of things. Um, Rami is a, is, is a character. Uh, and I mean that in, in the most respectful way possible. Uh, and I mean that with full praise to, to uh, Rami for that. Uh, as well as Murphy, uh, based on the situation at hand and how difficult it was, Murphy played himself very well. 
and I I I could only hope that we get to have another run in with, with with Murphy. I think the conversation that they had between each other was honestly really in, in just incredible because uh, I, I think it spoke volume to how Trap Flop truly felt about the case and to kind of put Murphy down to kind of get him to understand that you know Flop as a character was not proud of pursuing this in trial. He never wants to see another judge being set in an opposing seat. But Flop also has a due diligence to state that, you know, out of everything that we had and the tools we had, we proceed with roleplay as is. Uh, and I know Doc Wizard had a difficult time probably with Bailey coming up with a verdict and a decision. Um, because there, there were a lot of complications with the report number and exporting. A lot of really sloppy things that were glitched into trial. I could only hope that every portion of this was was hopefully done in, in, in good faith of, of good roleplay for everybody. Um... But I, I do think that I'm going to take the night off, uh, respectfully. I, uh, I'm very tired. Uh, I will say that this month has been phenomenal. It's been really good. And I can't thank everybody enough for all of your support. Um, I'm doing the best that I can to just facilitate fun role play for people. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that that happened tonight. And I hope to continue to improve on that. So... If you guys are new to the stream and happen to have enjoyed your stay, please hit the follow button. I would love to see you all come back. If you're not in Discord and you want to keep up with the stream or talk in meta chat about any of the events that transpired today or any future events or past events, I have a meta chat that I don't check that's there for you guys, not for me. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube. I have monthly highlights. I believe I'll have a new one in the, in the, in the next coming days. Uh, so definitely stay tuned for that. Uh, check out the TikTok. Uh, almost daily uploads. Uh, Jenny, my mod, takes care of that. Um, yeah, I don't know. Just thank you to all of you. Genuinely. We are so close to... We are... Holy fuck! We are eight followers away from 40,000. Is that right? Yeah, we are currently eight followers away from 40k. I mean, damn. Now it's seven. That's insane. Thank you guys for all of your support. I appreciate it. It's been an amazing month, and I can't thank you all enough. Um, but yeah. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I'm going to go chill for the night. A lot of buildup to this case. A lot of buildup. Very, very, very overwhelming. Um... I'm gonna leave it on a different note tonight. I think we're gonna do a little post Malone. Thank you, dudes, for everything. Appreciate you. Be good to yourself, be good to others. Treat everybody with respect. Please don't go and hop and treat anybody negatively for the court case. Appreciate you, dudes. Have a good rest of your night. Uh, I'm gonna raid, actually. I'm gonna raid Murphy Braun. Please go send him love. You all have a go and have a good night.